Hello everyone, my name is Relax and Panic and this is another reaction to Shoko Giki no Suma. It is the fourth plate, it is episode four. And as always, if you want to see the reaction itself, just go down into my descriptions, follow the links, replace the parentheses dot parts with real dots and enjoy. Once you've done, feel free to come back here and hear my thoughts about this episode. So see you soon. To those that came back, welcome back to Apple Pie. Now, um, let's see. I mean, this episode was mainly about apples, right? And about Megumin, which I um, very like, because I like her. I already mentioned it. She's one of my favorite characters. I mean, it is always the rooting for the underdog thing, and she always was the underdog, right? Um, but I like her background story that we've seen in the last seasons. You know, that she, um, how she became to be who she is, and um, it shows her inner strength. And she is kind of the heart of heart and soul of the team very much, very often. You know, she's just a genuinely good person who, um, sadly enough, does not believe enough in herself very often. But we had it once or twice that this concept was um, shattered or shaken and she grew on it and she um, always punched through as she does this time. So it's good to see that they give her a little bit more focus once again with her very own episode you could say so um they had the option to go for a lot of ingredients in the beginning so there was a large warehouse full of ingredients for the battle um and surely enough options when it is about apples so i guess there's just more than one version and um seeing that we had it in the past seasons very often that they uh, brought out like very specific tastes by using specific um, ingredients and specific versions of ingredients. I am, um, well, kind of expecting that uh, maybe just maybe in the middle of this pie, which was shown in the end, there is maybe a different apple. Just saying, you know, why, why go for the one version if you can have like multiple apples and combine their very own uh, sweetness and taste and everything um, it could have been an option to make a dish with multiple layers and multiple tastes they didn't go for it yet maybe they will with her in the finish we will see um, we had the uh, <laughs> the intro moment with um, Momo and uh, Bucci <laughs> I really like that I like the concept of his you know little girl so sweet and innocent and intimidating as heck <laughs> that was really entertaining um the uh, battles uh that will be um of uh, takumi aldini and um yukihira against um etsia and saito saito somai um i guess will be in the next and possibly even the second next episode um but it is interesting to see that they are already foreshadowing now because what we've seen in this episode is something I requested in my commentary all the time in my discussions if you uh, check them out. Um, I always said this is a team Shokugeki. Work together, use the options to work as a team, help each other, give each other ingredients, um, craft stuff for each other as they did once by now and now they start doing it a lot more. Um, <coughs> and try to uh, balance your food out with each other. So um, if you would be in a restaurant and you would order a three-piece dish, a three-piece meal, right? Um, you don't get just any random thing. You know, there's a main dish, sure, but uh, uh, the aperitive and uh, the, uh, uh, what the heck is it? The, the first, you know, you get a small dish first, then you have the main dish, and then you have a small dish in the end normally. Um, and they are not chosen randomly. They work with each other. They uh, balance each other out. They um, depend on each other normally in a good restaurant. So that is what I was waiting for. Um, I talked about it last time, especially. So if you have like a very, very heavy dish, a very fat dish, where your stomach is like completely filled afterwards and you feel like you cannot eat anymore, um, you don't want, as in, uh, after the dish, you know, the last one to go, you don't want to have anything heavy because you would be like, I cannot eat anymore. But something very light, very tasteful, you know, that is just like, okay, I can fit that in a uh, sorbet or um, uh, ice cream, you know, a small version, a small bit. Um, but you wouldn't go for such an amount of pancakes, as example, right? So they had that in the past. 
and I kind of hope for that again. Um, because when the uh, the main battle started, uh, let's see. Yeah, here it is. Um, there it is. They discussed. So first they, there was this moment, you know, um, shoulder to shoulder. They uh, are one team. They work together. This is a, a, a motivational thing as well, as you can see in many sports. Um, but here, um, Aldini is talking about it already. So you have that with butter. So you need something that has a clean aftertaste. That is important. Um, and I seeing that the jurors, um, the one that are um, giving you the notes, are very, very experienced persons. They will catch on that. They should catch on that. It would be sad if not. Um, so they balance their dishes with, with each other. Talking about that, now back to Megumin. What she used in her dish was apples, as she should, and butter. Which is not the thing she had to use. Someone else in this team has to use butter. But you can see they already put it in. So if you have, like in the other dishes, a slight bit of apple inside and a bit of butter each time, you would have, um, like, uh, over the three dishes, like a concept. Right? It would be like the three-piece apple butter dish. Don't know what you to call it. Um, and if you balance it really good, you would feel satisfied, 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 holy heck, after all three of them. Um, but still not like, like exploding. So I kind of uh, wait for the third dish and um, what they say afterwards. Because I think... To really judge the separate dishes now of the competitors would mean to have them all three one by one and then afterwards vote for them and not one by one, right? Um, because it might very well be that afterwards they will say, okay, they were all, uh, I don't know, you know, we had 2-1, uh, uh, it's a 2-1 score. But overall, the... Um, the feeling of the complete thing, we feel better with. I don't know if they can win like that. It would be sad if not. Um, but that's the one thing I waited for. Okay. Um, we have seen the working together. That was very nice. So like uh, here prepared for you and here prepared for you. Very good. Um, and the judges already mentioned that this might give them the upper hand because we have not seen that from the others. Um, to the training methods. So, uh, Megumin being someone who is always very, very insecure, uh, being shouted at just broke down. They gave her now a background story, which wasn't there before, about, uh, uh, I think, uh, uh, about a novel she read. I don't know, man, about a ping pong player. Um, <laughs> it's okay. Um... I mentioned when she broke down the first time that um, Shinomiya, being a chef, I mean, sorry, but kind of showed bad, um, not bad temper, um, bad abilities there. I mean, he is a chef of a kitchen. And as a chef of a kitchen, you're not only cooking, right? Uh, you need to be some kind, not only of a team player, but you need to, to be the chef of the kitchen, the boss of the kitchen. So you need team leading skills as well. It's not working that you're only shouting. Sure, there are some like those, but they are not the best ones, right? You should be able to um, see and understand what your, um, uh, your people in the kitchen are capable of, what you can give to them. So you split the work perfectly um, between each others. And you need to be able to motivate, to train, to um, influence your people to bring out better results. And that is something that wasn't there this time. He was just, you know, crumbling her down. Um, and that does not help at all. You could see she was so nervous, she uh, broke stuff. She um, threw stuff in, in the dishes that were not supposed to be. And she even mixed up salt and sugar. So she made like rookie mistakes that normally she wouldn't do anymore. Um, so having shaken her so much, 
I kind of expected that he they would have given him like a reflection moment that he's like okay she's one of those she needs um other kind of guidance she needs uh, to be guided softer um so they kind of skipped that and evaded it by giving her a background that she now um thinks about this ping pong player duo there and shouting at each other she just puts him into the position of a coach and thus it works now. It's okay, it's a way of dodging that bullet. But I kind of hoped for a... How do I, as a chef, really motivate my people moment. That would have been cool as well. Um, Momo's dish? I mean, she's not who she is without a reason, right? She is the number one when it is about sweets. Um, and the presentation was awesome. I mean, seriously. Um, it might be that this is winning her this battle. Um, I think on, on from what we've seen so far, the taste, thus we are still waiting for the big cliffhanger. I think taste uh, like it will possibly be that they will be on par. Um, Momo and Megumin. But just presentation wise, um, Momo won that one. So I guess that's why she will possibly overall take a small lead there. But as I said, I hope they will uh, vote for all three dishes. So that does not have to be negative yet. Um, because this first dish that uh, Megumin brought out is the one that the next two will build up upon. So I kind of guess um, that Megumin will win, uh, uh, will lose, sorry, um, very slightly, but will. Um, I would love if she would get some respect from Momo, if there would be a moment that Momo eats the dish as well um, and says, okay, I uh, I dig that, right? And um, that they in the next and second next episode, um, Aldini and uh, um, Yukihira are winning um, and they clearly point out that they are building upon the strong foundation of the first dish. So it's a real team win. That would be nice. So aim for victory. That's it this time. I hope you liked. I did for sure. And I will see you in the next episode. Until then, my name is Relax and Panic. Goodbye and out.